Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at VMworld 2011, and I'm here at HP's booth with Steve Degla, who's going to talk about Insight Control and the plugin that HP has created to make it easier to use inside vSphere. Correct, thanks. So basically what that plugin is, is it re it's a plugin that takes our management ecosystem that we have in ProLine space. So think of System Insight Manager, uh, Insight Control that contains RDP, uh, power management, and also licenses for ILO. It basically takes a subset of all those capabilities and brings that information into the vSphere client. So basically allowing you to have a single pane of glass uh, to manage ProLine servers and also the networking that relates to ProLine server and also HP storage inside the vSphere client. So giving you a choice. Uh, you can still manage your infrastructure with System Insight Manager, but if you spend the whole day in front of the, v, uh, the vCenter vSphere infrastructure, uh, now you have access to that hardware information that you didn't have before uh, inside that view, inside that plugin itself. So HP has traditionally um, done some things like trying to get everything under the sun inside the intelligent management console that you guys have yep. in order to create that single pane of glass experience. Why did you go the other direction um, with this vSphere plugin? Well, like anything else, there is a segmentation in who's going to be doing what in a customer's environment. And in reality, you're going to have some folks that are really using on a day-to-day -day basis System Insight Manager to do configuration for their environment. Uh, they're going to be uh, reaching out to those tools directly, such as ILO, Onboard Administrator, to set things up, to go make some changes to their configuration, and so on. And those are deep configurations. Uh, typically, they may happen at the very beginning of a setup, or they may happen uh, when a major change is happening in their environment. On the other side, you've got uh, virtualization people that are reaching out to the vSphere, uh, vCenter infrastructure to manage their virtualization, you know, VMs and so on. Uh, they don't necessarily need as deep control to their environment. In some cases, they might, but in general, to make you know decisions around how they're going to manage their VMs, they would still, you know, in some cases, require some hardware information, some host information, and in some cases, they would need that information to be presented differently. And that's what the plugin does. It basically creates um, pages, or if you want, dashboards uh, for you know classic health information, you know, events and configuration, which is basic information you need to make decisions on how you're going to manage change, and it also makes a very uh, innovative views, for example, of our virtual connect networking, which itself uh, is somewhat of a black box to a VM administrator because they wouldn't necessarily see from uh, vCenter uh, or vSphere client how uh, the relationship between VMs, the host, and the core switch actually happens because of that black box. Well, with the plugin, they now see an end-to-end -end view of that from that perspective. The plugin itself also includes HP storage management capability, and that's also an area where marking the relationship between VMs and storage can be complicated simply from the vSphere client. Well, with the plugin, you now have a clear view of that relationship, and we go even go beyond that, we can provision uh, certain types of storage directly from the vSphere clients. So, um, the, the plugin itself is in constant evolution. Actually, we're coming out with 6.3 version, and we're introducing new management use cases to it as we hear more and more from customers uh, using it uh, from the virtualization space, telling us what they need in that client to make them successful in managing hardware and virtualized infrastructure. So, which components of the, uh, the HP ecosystem does this work with? All of them, some of them? Well. And by components, you're talking... Uh, well, something like, uh, like ProLiant servers, the okay. cloud system matrix. Okay, uh, what it does, so cloud system matrix is a different thing. It's actually another set of layers that would provision things more dynamically cloud related. What we're, in the space we tackle down is really still around manageability and health monitoring and so on. So it supports our rack mounted servers, okay? So all existing generations that we have today. It supports our blade servers and the blade infrastructure supporting those blades, obviously. It supports virtual connect in a blade infrastructure environment, and it also supports HP storage. Now, the capacity will vary. Obviously, if you've got uh, blade infrastructure, you're getting more details because we reach out to more components part of that ecosystem. So I mentioned virtual connect, I mentioned the blades themselves, I mentioned ILO. So it will talk to all those pieces. We also have enablement that happens directly 
uh, at the uh, hypervisor level. Um, we have agents that reside on ESX type hosts, and we also have SIM providers that reside on ESXi type host. That's information we get directly by talking to the host and that's usually health information and inventory information for that host. So talks to, you know, basically the converged infrastructure which is ProLine servers, virtual connect networking, and HP storage, all those pieces. So a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. All right, well Steve, thanks for your talk. Hey, it's been great. Thank you.